Okay, so reading music is not too difficult if you do it in small dosages. So we're going to work on reading the notes in treble clef only for now, for the C, five finger C position, and then we'll investigate the other notes on the staff. Pretty simple stuff, but yeah, it can get confusing too soon if you don't learn correctly. Here I go. I'm going to first just write out the letter names, and I'm just going to write out C, D, E, F, and G. C, D, E, F and G, and make sure you learn this frontwards and backwards, okay? G, F, E, D, C, you wanna practice that? G, F, E, D, C, that will help you because music's about up and down. Now I'm gonna draw one line, pretty big, so you can see it okay, and then I'm gonna draw a note where the line is going directly through the note. We're gonna call that middle C. This line is part of the music staff, but it's extending the music staff, so we're gonna call this ledger line. I know, we're already getting into this, but trust me, it makes sense in a second. Ledger line. Before I get into other note names, now I'm gonna draw five lines. So, we're with me. We got that big line. I'll even color it and call that C. And now I'm gonna draw five lines. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Let's have this. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Don't judge me on my artwork, people. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and draw a treble clef, also known as a G clef, okay? We'll come back to that little red dot. After C, we are gonna go up one. So we've done C, and I'm circling that. We go up one, it's D. After D, we've done D, now we go up one, that's E. After E, we're gonna go up one, that's F. We're almost done with the five finger. And after F, we go to G. All right, so label away for now. D, E, F, and I forgot to put G here. All right, and then G. Don't mind the penmanship, but every line, every space represents a sound. There it is, those are the notes treble clef. Now let's talk about the lines. The lines of the staff, we have five lines. I'm going to just put them over here. One, two, three, four, and five. Really important, always go from the bottom to top. The second line, two, is also known as the G line, and this is not just a treble clef, but a G clef. So you can remember that. Guide notes, you can think of this as a G because of the treble clef, scrolls, that G. The other thing we did is we looked at the first note, middle C, because that's what we start on. After that, we go up one D, and then E, F, and G. In the musical alphabet, we have, after G, we go back to A. So I'm just gonna finish this off now. A, B, C, and we have D, E, and F. That didn't come through that very well. You can think of, for now, what we're focusing on is just the first five notes, but the lines are E, G, B, D, F. We've all heard the every good boy does fine, that stuff. But work in a stepwise motion, just practice the first five notes, and don't forget to go not only up, but down. Hopefully this makes sense, especially again, the five notes. I'm being repetitive, trying to be super simple and clear because that's how your brain can absorb this stuff. All right, let me know what you think.